Welcome back to Gordon at Pinnacle Drilling. It's been a while. We missed you guys. I missed myself, maybe a little bit. I don't know. But anyways, today we are making an odd size Acme thread. It's just the kind of diameter that we're working with. It is a 4.475 diameter, eight threads per inch stub Acme. Um, we do it a lot for our core barrel type um, pipe. It has a four and five eighths CP pin by four and five eighths CP box. And this stub Acme connects the tool joints together on either end because it, when you look at the pipe over here, the tool joint is much larger in diameter. It's about five and a half inches in diameter and it comes down to four and a half. And where the thread I'm making um, on the machine right now, it lies right around here on both sides. So, that being said, we got a brand new thread and this is gonna go against all rules of thumb and machining that you're supposed to put a hardened gauge over top or use wires, but because this is a repair job, I actually had to machine out the old pin that was in this box and we wire wheeled it out to get it as clean as possible. So I'm not gonna use a brand new thread to gauge it. I'm gonna use an old or an existing tool joint that is gonna be welded again. That's what I'm gonna use to gauge here today. So I just finished all four ops, rough facing, rough turning, finish turning and threading for this. And like I said, instead of putting a proper gauge over here, I'm going to use the tool joint to make sure that it sets in correctly. And it's quite long. It's about three inches here. And this overall length is four and three eighths. So I'm gonna go the whole way through. And there we are finally here. And this is where the welder is going to connect this tool joint inside or outside of this pipe. Now, for on my side, I know it goes on, but I'm going to stick my hand inside and I'm going to feel for the crease of this tool joint and just make sure, like right here, that it is fully tight. That's kind of what I'm looking for. At the end of this program, once I inspect my thread, I put my box on, I'm able to remove the pipe. And instead of touching off every single time, what I actually have on my tool four, which is gonna come up in my program, as I show you right now, is a stop block. This is simply just a turning tool that I flipped around and I faced it on this side. And this is where I create my overall length for every single pipe. From there, it hits an M00. It stops exactly at the facing amount that I want for each pipe. I'm able to open it up. Take my trusty plug out so that no coolant goes on the ground. It's only duct tape, people, and a rag. <laughs> it works so good.
perfect. <laughs> So as you know with our videos a lot of the tooling that we're running is Sandvik. Today on my threading I'm using a Seco insert to cut that stub acne. We constantly have fantastic Mitotoyo measuring equipment. We got the Mitotoyo vernier. They are so good. I'm using the STM micrometer, you know, switching it up. and. It's been a while since we've made a video. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching any of the views, any of the comments. We totally dig it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you come and watch again. <laughs>